When we think of batteries, we imagine the small cylinders that power our remote controls or the massive lithium-ion packs that run electric cars. But what if I told you that a possible battery existed over 2,000 years ago, long before the concept of electricity was even understood? This strange artifact, known today as the Baghdad Battery, has puzzled historians, scientists, and curious minds for decades. Found in Iraq in the 1930s, it raises one big question. Did ancient civilizations really harness electricity? Or is it all just a fascinating misunderstanding? Let's take a look at the fascinating story behind the Baghdad Battery, its surprising discovery, and why it continues to fuel debates about ancient technology even today. Right here on History of Simple Things. The story begins in 1938, when a German archaeologist named Wilhelm Koenig stumbled upon a clay jar in the collections of the National Museum of Iraq. The jar itself wasn't unusual. It was a simple ceramic pot about 15 centimeters tall, but inside it held something very odd, a copper cylinder and an iron rod. These components look strikingly similar to the basic parts of a battery. Koenig proposed that this wasn't just a random vessel, but rather an ancient device capable of generating electric current. His claim shocked the academic world and sparked a debate that is never fully settled. If you're wondering how such a simple jar could function as a battery, the answer lies in chemistry. In theory, if you fill the jar with an acidic liquid like vinegar or lemon juice, the copper and iron would act as electrodes. The liquid would serve as the electrolyte, allowing electrons to flow between the metals. Connect wires to each end, and you'd have a primitive battery capable of producing a small but measurable voltage, roughly one volt or less. It wouldn't power your phone, of course, but it could be enough to cause a mild electric shock or to plate small objects with a thin layer of metal. So, if the Baghdad battery really worked, what was it for? This is where the mystery deepens. Some researchers believe it could have been used for electroplating, coating objects like jewelry with gold or silver. Others suggest it may have served as a medical tool, delivering mild electric shocks as a form of therapy, which we know other ancient cultures experimented with. And then there are the skeptics, who argue that it was simply a container for storing scrolls, sacred texts, or even papyrus. After all, just because something can function as a battery doesn't mean that's what it was originally designed for. To test Koenig's theory, modern scientists and hobbyists have built replicas of the Baghdad battery. When filled with grape juice, vinegar, or even citric acid, these reproductions have indeed produced small amounts of electricity. One demonstration showed that connecting several replicas together could generate enough power to electroplate a coin with a thin layer of silver. This doesn't prove that the ancients actually used them this way, but it does show that the design works as a functional power source. Not everyone buys into the battery theory. Many archaeologists argue that there's no direct evidence of wires, conductors, or any supporting tools that would suggest widespread use of electricity in Mesopotamia. They also point out that no written records mention anything resembling batteries or electrical experiments. To skeptics, the so-called Baghdad battery is more likely an accidental assembly of parts that look familiar to us today but were never intended to work as a power source. In other words, we might be projecting our modern understanding onto an ancient object. Despite the lack of solid proof, the Baghdad battery has captured the public imagination. It's often featured in documentaries, books, 
and even fringe theories that claim ancient civilizations had advanced technologies long before modern science. Some enthusiasts even suggested as evidence of lost knowledge or extraterrestrial influence, adding it to the long list of mysterious artifacts often lumped into ancient astronaut theories. While most historians dismiss these ideas as speculation, they highlight how intriguing and thought-provoking this little clay jar has become. Even if the Baghdad battery wasn't truly a battery, it still serves as a fascinating reminder of human creativity. The mere possibility that ancient people could have stumbled upon the principles of electricity without fully understanding them shows how curiosity drives discovery. It also reminds us that history isn't always as straightforward as textbooks make it seem. Sometimes, a single artifact can challenge our assumptions and make us wonder just how much knowledge has been gained and lost over the centuries. At the end of the day, the Baghdad battery remains one of history's most puzzling artifacts. Was it truly an early experiment in harnessing electricity, a tool for electroplating, or perhaps something as simple as a storage jar whose parts just happen to resemble a modern battery? Without written records or clear evidence of its intended use, the artifact leaves us with more questions than answers. And maybe that's why it continues to fascinate, because it sits right at the boundary between what we know and what we can only imagine. What makes the Baghdad battery so captivating is not just the mystery of what it was, but the reminder it gives us about human curiosity. Even thousands of years ago, people experimented, tinkered, and created in ways that challenge our assumptions about ancient knowledge. Whether it was a scientific breakthrough or a misunderstood vessel, the Baghdad battery sparks wonder and reminds us that invention and imagination are timeless traits of humanity. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.